right today is saturday april 1st it's april fool's day and we're over here working on the 68 like some fools like some fools yep yep man so what have you done Got um, your coal packs on yeah coal packs uh new harness <clears throat> wires just you know your basic stuff plug wires plug and play yeah man i forgot how this car looked so what we're gonna be doing today is uh, some some wiring. Oh, you got the windshield in? Yeah. You did that yourself? Yes. Original? Uh, that, that's a uh, repop or yeah, that's a replacement. One. Replacement, so, not repop. Uh, the, the rear one is is original, and let me tell you, that'll make them that'll make them the same. This is about, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth or yeah, or more thicker. Yeah, than the than the windshield. Yes. Windshield kind of floppy. Yeah, you can really feel it flex when you when I was installing it. But this is nice and heavy. Two people to pick it up. Got the uh, six by nine. It's a the rear, rear package tray. Rear package tray. Where's the front seat in the house? Yeah. Kind of dark but okay man so what we're gonna be doing today is uh messing with this american auto wire we should be able to get the back for sure the lights the front lights for sure and then i guess johnny's gonna do his thing with the you got the psi yeah <clears throat> nice quality stuff so this is uh this is like made to order yes they got a bunch of options on their website you know you just tell them what type of engine um what type of reluctor all that stuff and it they and they, they make it, it for you yeah uh i had them i had them uh put the the ls1 uh, inject, injector plugs mm -hmm. um and then they included that and just there's a bunch of little options actually here's the deal right here see if you want fuel injector connectors I got I added the braided uh loom on it. Um huh. and the engine ground kit. How much was that? Yeah. It's like seven hundred dollars or something. Uh yeah. Something like that. Looks nice though. Huh? It really is. It's all I mean, brand new. So this you can order the loom separate and then you install it, or you can already have them install it, which that's yeah. what I went with because let them do it. Yeah. But it's you know, I mean this is the ground kit. All this pretty much plugs into your other stuff, you know, the computer, the CM. Where's the computer at? Oh, it's in here. Oh, so we haven't mounted that yet. You gonna put it under the dash somewhere? Um, I don't know. We still got, we still got to buy. I still got to buy a pedal. This, this is the original pedal, but uh, it's gonna hit on the on the floor. So I'm gonna buy a new one. Hmm. Work with the car. Okay. For the same people, they make it. Uh, PSN makes it. Here's. So that's a computer. Yes. And that that harness you just showed plugs right into that. Yes, and this is for your pedal. Hmm. This, uh, which same thing PSI also makes their own that works with all their stuff. That it's a plug and play thing, you know. Um, huh. Yeah. So basically, what I, I end up using is just this. This would be. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can make it make it work, but yeah. Why struggle with it? We're the true spokesman. They're hiding back there. Hey, so those are travel stars, man? How long? They haven't browned? No. Huh. And really, I didn't even know. All I did is just use soap and water to wash off the blue and... I mean, a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's just the beginning, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were, what, uh... <clears throat> two bills? Like two bills. Oh, yeah. oh, that ain't bad. Fourteen? Yeah. Yes. And the only reason I got it was just to put it on the car, those dummy yeah. wheels and tires, and so uh, to be ready. done with it. Yeah. All right, man. So we're gonna unpack this. So I'm gonna be working on the, the the lights, the front and back lights, which should be pretty straightforward, just like a '64. And Donnie will be here any minute, so I'll bring you guys back once we get some work. So okay. Timing. Yeah. 
All right, so we we got the last connection here. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom in on the American Auto Wire. It uses these special pliers, which I bought or we bought from American Auto Wire themselves. But there, there's different manufacturers that make the same thing. So this is a single crimp or single single wire crimp. This is a double crimp. So as you can see, the comparison doubles bigger. So for double wire. When I say double wire, you're, you're crimping two wires into one terminal. So you need you need a wider terminal, which they supply, and you need a wire a wider crimper. Because if you try and crimp two wires into a terminal that only uses one wire, I mean you probably can do it, but it's going to be an ugly crimp. Or if you try and use a single crimp, it's still work. If you try and use a single crimp tool to crimp a double wire, it's going to it's going to be ugly. So this one was a single wire, single crimp, uh, single wire terminal, single crimp tool, and you can see you skin it back like maybe a, maybe a three sixteenth of an inch. So all you want is is the wire in in this area right here going through. It rolls it around, and on this this crimp right here, just the uh, sheath or whatever you want to call it. So this is the uh, rear uh, right turn signal, hot. So it just goes in, and then you heard it click. So there we are. So what I just finished up was basically the rear tail lights, except the reverse. We haven't done the reverse yet, which is really just plug and play. So you got the brown wire, the dark brown wire, which is coming from the, it's called the rear body harness that plugs into the main fuse block. So the brown wire comes all the way back. That's your, your parking lamp. And I think that's it. I think it doubles up as a brake light too. I think you run it to your brake switch. We haven't got that far yet, but anyways. So your, your brown wire starts here. This, well, it starts up there. It comes over here to this terminal. Which I ran in through the inside. And basically you just jump that one wire all the way across. So you double crimp it here. Jump it to here. Another double crimp. Same, same uh, connector. Okay, another double crimp, license plate light, another double crimp, different connector, jump it to the right side license plate light, another double crimp, same connector, jump it to the right side parking light, another double crimp, to the final one, single crimp. So this is the end of the line for the wire, single. So that's your parking lights. And that's going to plug directly into directly into here. And the wires correlate yellow, yellow, brown, brown. So right here we have brown on the bottom of the T, brown on the bottom of the T. That's, that's important. Because if they get crossed, then it's going to do all kind of weird stuff. So basically, that's your that's your parking lamp. So from that, you get you get your parking lamps and your license plate lights. And then next up was the uh, yellow, which is I believe left turn signal, left rear turn. So it comes from the from the from the dash all the way under the carpet, all that to right here. And this is your other side of your light. So basically your light plugs in, you know what I mean? You got a dual filament light or an LED one day. Mm -hmm. LED, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, so then your, your turn signal jumps from here, double crimp, to here, single crimp. And that's it, because it's left turn signal. 
Mm -hmm. You got no business going to the right side with it. So really, you got your parking lights and you got your turn signals. It's really simple. So when you hit your turn signals, your double filament is going to contact with this with this yellow wire and it's going to blink. It's going to be brighter than the parking light, you know. So then the next one is the green, I believe light green, they call it, or dark green. We've got two greens, one green is reversed. Dark green, or we'll call this medium green, is right turn signal. So you bypass all this, you bypass the license plate, and you go straight here. Turn signal, green, correlates with the right Just like that, okay? And these are also left and right hand, as you mentioned earlier. This is right hand. So these these are sided to the car. So first you gotta figure out, you gotta organize your sides, and then you plug in your lights, your sockets, and then you plug in your connection. So then, so that's the turn signal, green, right turn signal, double crimp, jump it over here, terminates here, single crimp, same connector. Same plastic connector because your connectors on your lights are the same. They don't change. It's it's the terminals themselves, the little the little metal terminals that change with double wire or single wire. We'll show you in a second. Mm -hmm. So so then that ends there. So your turn signals are done. So we got left turn signal, we got right turn signal, we got parking lights, we got license plate lights. Next up is going to be reverse light, which is just a single wire. It's going to go right here. You're going to jump it from here to here real simple so right now we just ran it under the trunk latch you know we're gonna cloth tape it and tuck it away and all that so we'll show you the double the double crimps here's an example see these are the same thing on this end see how one is wider and one is not so this would be a single wire. And uh, right, Jan? Huh? Yeah. This would be a single wire, and this would be a, a double wire. But they would fit in, you know, if you were to, if you were to use it, you know, it would, it fits in the same. So double wire, single wire. They both fit into the plastic, but some use two wires, some use one wire. That's why I was saying last night, you know, I like to have a table or a, a towel and lay it all out and organize your connectors first. You know, like these are, these are, uh, these look very similar until you really look at it. This is single wire. It's got this little thing right here. This is double wire, it doesn't. This one's just a tad bigger if you look. So, so two wires can fit in this. Really, this can be a little bit bigger, but this is the way they make them. But this can use a little bit more space. So this is double wire. This is single wire. So I like to sort everything out. You know? All your terminals are sorted out. All your plugs are sorted out. And they offer uh, some extras. So we have leftover. Like, we didn't use these, for example. Because these are the side lamps but which, which on this car has been deleted so basically this is you know scrap extra i always save them i've got a big old bag at the house of all this stuff uh, you don't you're not going to use these i'm not even sure what this is honestly it's q whatever so it has it has all directions you just got to follow them it has all the terminals listed so it's going to say you know this wire uses terminal j terminal j plugs into connector h H. So we look. We got H. Wait, is, is American Auto Wire gonna pass for this? <laughs> and J. It should. This is a hell of a promo. It is a promo. It's good stuff. I mean, it's it's basically like a factory replacement. You use the factory style terminals, you know, but you trim you trim to length whatever you like. Which on the back end, it's not that much different than buying a stock one really where you get into the custom stuff is on the front end when you can tuck your wires they come with a lot a lot longer wires and you can tuck them under the fenders and all that stuff so all that's left is to run the reverse wire backup light i should say and rear harness is done
So we're gonna run that. See what these guys going on. Oh, you say you're gonna wire up the moonroof switch to the uh, the windshield wiper to the tilt column. <laughs> so the yeah, yeah. When you pull the hazard, the moonroof runs. Uh, to the wiper switch. That's that's actually a really good idea, man. Yeah. Because we don't you have no wipers. Yeah, so we, we deleted the we deleted the wiper, so the dirtier. Yeah, so right now we're working on the underdash. Uh, we got the lights connected. Uh, we have the bulkhead mounted to the firewall. Um, we are gonna add a stainless piece on the outside just to finish it off so it's not all the way tight yet and um, like Kenny was saying we're gonna use this wiper switch right here since we eliminated the wipers on the car uh, we're gonna use that one for the sunroof so that, that's, gonna, that's, that's custom nice. stuff man yeah that's gonna be incognito you know you won't have to have a separate switch for it so. uh, should have pretty much the bottom dash wrapped up and I'm gonna need the the brain for the Dakota to start wiring that in so okay we're right. pretty far on that today all right well uh, we'll bring you back all right so we got the front front headlight harness done so it plugs in to the firewall cutout which I believe the American Auto Wire utilizes 68 firewall cut out so that's an original hole I think it, mm -hmm, it okay. is original hole for the bulkhead we ran them on top of the fenders and it's pretty straightforward pretty pretty easy if you follow the instructions you want to come around so we took all the wires you come around here so you got your brown which is uh, low beam headlight low beam so you got one coming from the bulkhead to here and you jump it all the way to the other side over here low beam <laughs> brown same wire and then you got your green which is your high beam you jump it from the low headlamp to the bright headlamp utilizing the, the two wire connectors like we said previously so it was from here to here to here to here so low beam uh, that's the wrong connector there, that needs to be a three prong you know where's that? that is a three prong uh, uh, to your left I'm blind that's the right connector so three prong for low beam three prong for low beam Two prong for high beam. And that's going to correlate with the headlight bulbs. Same over here. Two prong for high beam. Three prong for low beam. So your high beams are in the center, like every other car. Then you have your parking lamps, which dark brown wire over here. Actually, light blue. So light blue is uh, left turn signal. Dark blue is right turn signal. And then your brown, your dark brown is your parking light so we ran it from here which is going to hang somewhere around here right in your grill and then we jumped it from here to here to this light the corner lights corner lights so we deleted the fender fender corner lights so we have basically this is going to run as a parking lamp not a turn signal a parking lamp both of them so this kit had two two brown wires of the same parking lamp usually you jump them all across but this one had a left and a right I guess so like I say brown coming out the firewall jump to here another brown coming out the firewall all the way over here to here and then jump to the light and then we have horns we don't have the horns yet but it's got two two uh two horns I believe they mount right here we got an orange wire for the electric fans which we may or may not use we haven't got that far yet 
Yeah. And that's pretty pretty much it. It's actually pretty simple once you dissect it. A lot of people get intimidated by the by the wiring, but yeah, the the electric panels already have uh no i'm uh, take that back the psi harness has a that's going to run the entire engine has a, a spot for this wire so we were just talking about uh how effect how efficient is the Amer actual american auto wire because we're thinking we're not even going to use anything on the motor side or engine side which would be starter wire ignition wire oil pressure temperature wiper alternator and something else maybe one or two i'm forgetting uh but all that's tied into this custom harness that you bought P yes. from psi so yeah psi has uh the the harness to run the the ls engine and it's a plug and play type deal and it's gonna uh work with the dakota digital yeah which you won't even need um half of the american auto wire yeah i mean actually kit. all we're going to utilize for american auto wire is going to be headlight harness front headlight harness rear body harness which we showed earlier courtesy lamps inside and that's really it because you got the dakota you got the psi um and we're not using center console we're not using the instrument cluster because you got the Dakota so a lot of stuff it isn't used so you know you got to factor that in when you go to plan your build I mean now I don't know what the American Auto Wire is probably like five five or six hundred bucks no more okay so uh, close to like nine or something like that you know on their website now I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper here and there maybe yeah, through a uh, distributors vendors. yeah I know I paid uh seven okay. for mine and we're using like maybe 30 percent yeah 30 percent of it yeah so it might be beneficial to maybe buy only light harness only headlight headlight harness rear body harness that's that's if you're running the setup that i'm running yeah, right uh, the digital dash the the ls engine yeah. um that's if you're rich nah. if you're poor you're gonna uh, be running a small block i'm gonna be having a garage sale <laughs> on all these uh, extra harnesses and stuff that i won't need so I don't know what y'all been doing inside. Johnny's been killing it. it he's looks like a lot. Yes, he, he's he has the the dash already kind of figured out. No, we'll wait for him to come back outside to do that. Uh, all right, we're live. Live. All right, we're almost done under the dash here. Uh, there's a few things I need to wrap up, which is the um, uh, the reverse light, which is this green and pink, and neutral safety switch. And then I need to rewire this. So this is the original steering column. So mm -hmm. to get this working with the um, with this new wire harness, you pretty much gotta just uh, cut this here, mm -hmm. and then repin it to the um, to this down here. You can't, I can't take it down. Anyways, you just repin it and connect it to the new harness, and and that's that's done. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, okay. So what is, what is the control? I mean, it has a lot of wires for some. For yeah, it does. It so so this is your hazards, uh, left and right blinker. Okay. Okay. Uh, your stop light, all that stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit of, of wires on it. Um, the brake switch is already connected. Um, I have to modify a piece coming from the booster to the brake pedal, and then I can go ahead and put the brake brake switch. Uh, I started working on the Dakota, uh, the brain here. So I have right now I only have the, the blinkers and high beams and then the, the gas gauge. So I need to run a uh, ground from the gas gauge and then I need to run uh, power and ground and a few more other things. There's, there's not a whole lot to connect to here since it's running that uh, BIM module, mm -hmm. which goes in between here and the, the computer of the LS engine. And that allows you, that allows all the readings from the engine straight to the dakota so you don't have to wire in a temperature sensor or oil sensor none of those sensors all those readings come straight from the computer to the dakota so that that's a good thing it eliminates a whole bunch of wires so that's that's really it under here and and we'll be done so move, moving right along and um sweet yeah he's getting there all right so we're bringing guys back once we're done for the day i guess huh? yes sir once we're drinking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like already on, like, 
packet filter, accumulator. Yeah, like all in all in one, yeah. That bumper's looking nice. That's an original bumper with original tail light lenses, which is nuts. Really good shape. So we came to a stopping point. All we gotta do is wire up the Dakota. You need some battery cables. We can test everything. Uh, you need to do something to the brake clevis so it'll reach. It's a little short. And outside of that, I think it's gonna do some LED sail panels. And we need to do a headliner at some point. No accumulators up front. Just maybe a stiffer spring. I got a two ton right now, I believe. Or a ton, uh, one and a half ton. So what's left, man? Need the battery cables before we can test anything. Yeah, measure them. Uh, battery cables. Um, Finish wiring the Dakota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's only a few wires away. A few wires away. Then it then it should light up. Yes. Or with the PSI, we got to. Which that's all plug and play. Pretty much. Yeah. And then we should be able to power up, test, uh, the, test yeah. the lights, test the dash. Oh, yeah. yeah test yeah. the turn signals. Yes. yes, yes. We, can, we can test the lights with a test light, yeah. but we don't have no... So the grill's at chrome. Mm. Yes. Yes, it won't to hook it up right. Sheesh. Yeah. No, no uh, hidden fees, none of that stuff. The grill and the headlight bezels. Yeah. Yeah. Triple and chrome. And they also did these. Yeah, they did the uh, corner lights, yeah. which you say came off a of Caprice? Yes. 68 Caprice? The Caprice ran the... So the Caprice was a more higher model. Yes. Yeah. So chrome grill, the bumpers over here on the ground, which that's original chrome, huh? Yeah. It's a little dirty, but you know, that'll polish up nice, I think. Brackets look good. And then, I mean, we just gotta modify the gas tank. Yes. I'm gonna do that during the week. I'm gonna get that ready. So did, this did thing you is- Did you check out the video on it? Or where, where he kind of like, he, he makes the hole and then he runs that little inner ring on the bottom. Oh. It's like that oh, ring okay. is to, to stiffen the, the plate. Yeah, to, hold, to sandwich it. Yeah. 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 So this thing should start here pretty soon. It's not far away. I think next week we'll wrap up the wiring, wire up the engine, test everything, and then uh, uh, exhaust. And then the following week, I can uh, fill the fuel lines. Oh yeah, I'll we have, need fuel lines. Yeah, I'll have the gas tank ready to go. Well, we got the lines. We got them, but I have to build them. Oh, you got like crimp the. Yeah, you got to cut. They're all cut to fit. Yeah, that's why I was asking if you had a bias. Drive shaft. Oh, I, I have a drive shaft. You have a drive shaft. Yeah. You can have it. Totally. And, and free. To, uh, to modify? I, I have the one you need. Yeah. So we'll just have to change the yoke. And we're good. No, Winning. No, no two pieces, one piece. No, no, no. One oh, piece. Lucky guy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that's all for this update. And then you still got to, we got to figure out something in the trunk. You got a whammy for it. Yeah. You didn't buy the whammy already? Yeah, oh, yeah I remember nice. I painted the tank. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. The tank and the, the blocks already, yeah. the rods already put together. He just needs uh, motors, gear motors, which I got the I got the old setup there. Dumps? Get I them. Need, I mean, I got everything to make it work, but I just need new stuff. You I want think. better stuff. Yeah. Mini monsters? I don't know. I mean, I, I like the Delta. I mean, I'm fine with the Delta. Just Maybe get the cover? The yeah, little... something. Yeah, just, just screws it up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Spruce. All right. Well, we'll bring y'all back once we get some more work.